What's up, Econ John here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the money metric utility function. Let's go. What is a money metric utility function? The money metric utility function is a utility function derived from the reframing of the consumer's expenditure function, which answers the following question. Given current prices P, how much money is necessary for a consumer to be just as well off as if he was consuming a specific bundle of goods? In other words, it tells us how much income is necessary to obtain a bundle of goods which will provide the same level of utilities as the one desired. It is for this reason that the money metric utility function is also referred to as the minimum income function or direct compensation function. Mathematically, this is our money metric utility function M as a function of prices P and bundle X is equivalent to our expenditure function evaluated at prices P and its utility function as a function of bundle X. This is a novel result because we're able to use the expenditure function as a utility function. In terms of graphically understanding the money metric utility function, our money metric utility function identifies the minimum income necessary to reach the utility given by bundle X. Given the nature of our utility function, it is also obtainable by bundle Y. So what our money metric utility function goes and tells us is that how far out does our budget constraint have to be in order to reach a given level of utility? That's what it does. To conclude, the money metric utility function allows us to infer the obvious by using income as an index for the level of utility. This being that higher income implies a higher level of utility. It also tells us that the only way to get a higher level of utility is by spending more money. So that is the introduction to the money metric utility function. So I hope this helps. Take care.